Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Seabed. What about you? I like whatever that's interesting, I guess. I thought you wanted to know what made those books interesting. I like the kind that make you want to keep reading even if something had gone into your eye, Takago said. I spontaneously responded with a frown. I could feel my entire face having, are you for real, written all over it. So what exactly do you like about old books, Sachi? The atmosphere, I guess. I see. As it remained silent, Takako added that she felt the same way. The world they, they take place in is different enough from ours to feel fresh. Yeah, I suppose that's true. I'm also curious about how society worked before I was born. I think they had a lot more things back then. What do you mean? What kind of things? Well, like politics and economics and movies and music, I guess. What? Huh? What are you talking about? Is that because you just listen to pop music that always sounds the same? Well, I guess that could be it, but the way I see it, the past has, was a way lot more chaotic than the present. It had tons of different thoughts and came up with a bunch of different ideas. I'd say the world is just as chaotic right now. That's true! You probably just don't know it because we're still children. That could be true. Although I had to agree with the notion of being curious about the world of the past. I love listening to the stories of my grandparents. And they in return love telling them, introducing me to a whole host of words and feelings I'd never known before. Like the title of a song I'd never heard about or this accident I never knew happened. Even if I listened to that song now, I wouldn't be feeling the same things my grandparents did in their time. Listening to stories like that made me feel like something important in me was fastened shut with a heavy lid. I could go nod in agreement. He said that must have been curiosity. I answered with a sigh. Just like that hole I told you about. You're not li liking my hobbies to run milk. Got an exasperated look at Takako's satisfied expression before returning to my book. <laughs> That's funny. Is that book fun? I feel like you've already asked that. Hey, all you told me was that you like old books. I'm asking about this one specifically. Well, I guess not bad. Hmm. Oh yeah, have you finished that book I lent you yet? I'm still reading it. I'm about halfway through, I think. Ah, so you must be at the part where... Ah, uh, wait. Maybe I was more like a quarter in, actually. I see. <laughs> uh, more like the first page. Drawing her face from mine, she leaned against the bench. Something's flying over there. A kite? Akko narrowed her eyes, looking somewhere far in the sky. Oh. There's a large bird sailing through the blue canopy above us. It's a black kite. Oh, I was right, a kite! Birds are cool, aren't they? Black kite. Think it's gonna go over that mountain? I don't think so. Isn't it just looking for prey? Wait, is it a kite or is it or is it a, a bird? Wait, which one is it? I had this weird dream the other day. I went beyond the mountains surrounding our town, and all I found was just endless grass and shallow puddles of water. A huge marsh, basically. Have you ever been outside this town? No. Maybe that's why. Those mountains sometimes look like prison walls holding us inside. Maybe you should just go wherever you want once you grow up. Turn the page. Or maybe it's because this is all fenced up. So let's go overseas then. Good luck with that. You're coming too. Sounds like a pain in the neck. I could go let out a chuckle. I know you actually want to go. Why would you think that? Well, I've known you for a long time. Ah. Don't underestimate your childhood friends. Akko's raised voice prompted me to instinctively cover my ears, nearly causing me to drop the book I'd been reading. Why did you rephrase that? Did you actually think that line sounded cool? Akko's cheeks flushed a light hue of red. I... But you repeated yourself? Not really. The sun rays dancing across the blue sky above warmed, in, warmed my ex exposed knees. You only have five classes today, right? Seeing how it's Wednesday. 
So let's go see a movie after school, or we can do karaoke if you want. I've been having a sore throat lately, so I can't do karaoke. Any good movies on right now? Well, there's, you know, that. The one we talked about last week. I've never heard of a movie called that. Um, it's that, uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Or what is it? Oh, you keep urging me so I forgot now. Hey, don't make it my fault. Never knew, you never even knew it in the first place, did you? Oh, you have some time to remember until school is over. What movie is it? They have superheroes in it? You remember the final song we did the last time we went to karaoke? I do. I was on my bike riding, heading home when I got to a traffic light. I checked if no one was around and started singing it by myself. Only to realize there was a biker parked right behind me. Boy, was that embarrassing. That's so. I'm not going to karaoke today. I have a sore throat. I wasn't trying to say I want to go. You just wanted to tell the story? Yeah. I see. Good for you. Aww. What nice friends. Oh. The intermission? Or, oh. Oh, the tips menu has been unlocked. You can access it from the title menu. Tips 1, Narasaki Clinic. Room 8008 has been unlocked. What? Okay. We will now begin boarding for flight 56 to Paris. Caster wheels attached to my bag rolled over the immaculately cut stone floor in an energetic clatter. Oh, they're actually going overseas. There weren't that many people in the off-season airport, so I could walk relatively freely. I walked to the escalator going up, placed my bag on it, then boarded it myself. I glanced down to see Takako staggering as she tried carrying a large Boston bag in her arms. Okay, so are we in the present time now, or are we in, in, um, like... Because it seems like there's flashbacks, and then we're back in the present time. Or and such. I don't know. I'd like to see if my bag was steady on the escalator and pulled down my right sleeve to confirm the time. We're late. Because you drive so slow. Actually, it's because you overslept. Huh. I shifted my gaze from the clock to Takako, who looked away to avoid my eyes. The escalator is pretty long. I've never seen one like this before. I could hear the escalator buzzing below us. Heave the brief sigh. And if you felt I was driving slow, there's seriously something wrong with you. Has no one ever taught you about preventative driving? Oh, preventive driving. Preventive driving? Based in forcing the possible dangers on the road. Might be going too fast without realizing it. The car might appear in the opposing lane. You might have to abruptly brake. A pedestrian might jump on the road. Might have run over something. Too late to worry about that now. I go let out a hearty chordo. Chordo? What's chordo? Are we really cutting it that close? About an hour and a half until the flight. I think we'll make it in time for the check-in. Let's hurry. Wait, an hour and a half until the flight? I, I, I'm pretty sure you have time for, to check in. You want me to run again? Takako didn't seem too thrilled about the idea. I glared back at Takako. She leaned against her Boston bag, placed a step above the one she was standing on, and closed her eyes. Don't sleep. Her head was at the perfect height for me to flick it. Ouch! Takako placed her left hand on her forehead. That helped wake you up. Yeah. I lifted my bag and stepped off the escalator as it reached the top. I go picked her Boston bag back up and followed me. I walked through the carpeted corridor at a hurried pace. Through the row of windows to the right, I could clearly see the cloudless blue sky. I looked to my side as the caster wheels of my bag rode at a brisker pace than before. I go held the Boston bag in her arms. I had no idea where she got it. It seemed like an antique covered in bright videos with a bunch of different languages. Didn't bring much as usual. Think so? I think I packed everything I would need. 
passport, tickets, camera, notepad, medicine, and a nail clipper. And no underwear or clothes or pants or shirts or bras or anything. Nothing. I guess she has to borrow, uh, no, uh, you know, Sachiko's. Whew. Find clothes at our destination again? Yep. Oh, never mind. I, never mind. I can wear this for as long as there's a washing machine around. I go pull down her shirt to show it off. Huh. I'm gonna end the episode here, everybody. Huh, seems like they are going to a new place. And it seems like, yeah, there's flashbacks and all of that stuff. Ooh. Okay. Why are there flashbacks, though? Interesting. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys didn't, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you, everybody, for watching this episode, and you will hear me in the next one. Bye!